back so uh, as you know we are uh, in process of creating s2i image um, for mulesoft uh, project deployment so as uh, in uh, our last video uh, we created this uh, s docker base image and uh, this was using this docker file and we talked about that and uh, in this video we'll be seeing how uh, we create s2i image and uh, using this docker build, uh, base builder file so once we created s2i create and uh, this project folder structure was created so here there is assemble uh, run save artifact and usage uh, scripts so what assemble does so whenever you create uh, s2i build uh, using the builder uh, file build file name so the command looks something like this so here uh, so we give s2i build and then from where the <clears throat> project source files are uh, going to be uh, ex taken and then the base builder file name and what your image name is going to be so when we do this what happens uh, behind the scene this assemble script is executed and this assemble script will uh, uh, execute all your um, uh, project uh, building like uh, if you are using gradle or maven you can do those steps here and then it will do the build and then uh, your project uh, your implementation will be ready and then after once this is executed it will go to run and execute whatever uh, um, exe you want to execute in our case we will be running mule uh, run here so we will be executing uh, into bin dot mule dot slash mule and uh, starting mule uh, here so just to save some time uh, i have already written uh, this s2i image uh, sorry assembled script so i am just going to copy and then uh, explain what uh, is happening there so i copy everything into here so till this part till this part i have not changed whatever is uh, by default to created by template so here what i am doing is i am creating uh, this build file and binaries and then i am replacing conf file from uh, a folder called mule project but from where this mule project came so if you have as i said if you uh, took notice that i am giving this deployment folder path and we don't have any deployment folder path as of now here in our this project created so what i am going to do i am going to create a new folder here named deployments you can call it anything you like so i created deployments and then inside the deployments I'm going to copy this another folder. I will explain what is inside that. So I have another folder called mule projects and then I have one folder called apps. This folder structure I have created, it depends on, totally depends on you, what you want to name it, what you want to call it. So I created one apps folder where I uh, exported uh, that S2I mule demo, which I showed in uh, first, uh, uh, video uh, these two applications and demo uh, sorry app and domain so I exit exported them here and uh, just for the sake of uh, example I copied one wrapper conf and uh, uh, just to show that uh, your wrapper conf is also getting uh, overridden because in actual projects you will be doing this so here I make this MMC agent active and uh, it's actually false here <laughs> if i make it true and then change it then it will be replaced so by default they are commented and just to show that it's uh, also replaced so this is the folder structure which i created and then i go to assemble and here you can see once i give this folder uh, name in my command so deployments so whatever folder is there will be copied into my work directory and my work directory is opt so that I have given in my docker file so my work directory uh, here so I have given my work directory and that will be copied 
this whole mule projects will be copied in my opt folder so when i go to assemble i have inside opt my mule projects and then i'm simply copying wrapper conf and uh, replacing taking backup you can do whatever you want it's up to you so i'm just copying all the projects uh, into apps folder and domain so once it is done i will see that it is uh, executed and properly run now the next thing is run i want to run this uh, mule so okay okay so deployment is done so let me copy this also and i will be explaining what is all this and just to copy this s2i setup file uh, i'll explain what i create one another file just to keep things clean i'm uh, using this s2i setup file and putting all these destinations and my mule root just to set everything here and when i go to run and from this source s2i setup file i'm getting a directory name which is my mule root and in my s2i root this is my mule root opt mule and then i'm just executing bin mule and then starting up mule here simple enough so save artifact if you want to do some uh, saving of files and folder you can do this here and usage is uh, by default uh, if you want to get some usage information about your docker so you can use test folder i'm not using so instead of test i replaced it with deployment you can just simply delete this as well so i'm deleting this test folder from my project so that is gone now I have this SQI image, so let's uh, use this to create our Docker image. So before that, uh, in my last video, I had removed my Docker base image, so I'm going to create that base image again. So I execute this, and it will execute all the steps from my Docker file. And let's wait it to complete. So here it is completed. Now what I will do, I will do s2i build from my deployments folder. So deployments, I will get all the files uh, copied into deployments. And then what is my base file name? Base builder is pc hurry slash mule s2i builder. And what name I want to give to my EC2 image is EC2 mule s2i image hyphen f. So I am giving this name and let's execute this. So here you see installing application source and build completed successfully is all. okay so i should have saved everything i didn't so i'm going to do the same steps again so don't make this mistake okay i'm going to remove uh, these I made a mistake and uh, now I have to remove it, all this it is gone so let's clear it so let's create that base image again and uh, the base image is ready why I know that I made a mistake because my these echoes were not printed they should have been printed there so this base image is created. Now let's run that SQI again. Let's call this also 10 so that we know that for builder 10 we created this builder 10 app. So here you see now it's creating all uh, that copying extras and replacing license key and all those things and copying binary files and then copying opt domain. 
So now let's see. I'm not going to run it. I'm I'm going to run, but not uh, default. I'm going to do a bash run inside that. Okay, run. Sorry, straight Docker run. Hyphen T I hyphen hyphen R N and E C Harry slash mule. What was the name? Hopefully you will give some easier names so that it's easy to and then I will do bash. I just want to show what is there. So if you remember in our builder image there was only Gradle and Mule and in my S2I image there is a Mule projects folder and it has everything but from this Mule project inside apps and all and then if I go to ad mule apps and here is my app copied and similarly my domain is also will be copied so now let's exit it and now let's start it uh, so that we can actually run and see and get the okay i'm going to remove this ti and I'm going to give it a port. If you remember, we exposed port 8080, 8081, if I remember correctly. And then I'm going to start it. So once I start, it will automatically start, uh, it will run this uh, run command uh, because I didn't give uh, uh, any startup. So um, I'm not running bash, I'm directly running whatever is the starting point of my this uh, S2I image, which is to start mule, which is coming from this run. So if nothing is given, it will just execute from here. And uh, here you can see it is uh, it started mule app and it should have deployed the domain so here is the domain is also started and if i go to postman and run this i should be getting a response so this response is coming from mule uh, application deployed on docker container using s2i image now you can use this image and go to openshift and if you have a openshift uh, uh, login id you can sign in and you can deploy there so before that in next video we will see how to deploy this on openshift this image thank you see you in next video